Hey guys, so today Eve and I are going to talk about senior backend developers and what they should know. So let's get into it. So the question in question was actually posted on another video that I made about what a senior front-end developer should know and the person who asked this question defined a senior or at the very least someone with four years of experience so we can of course discuss the whole is this a senior or is it not a senior but let's just start there and say a person with four years of back-end development experience and well the other one was for front-end so for the front-end video I basically answered that you are expected to know all the things related to JavaScript and CSS and so forth that doesn't mean that you're a master of literally every SBA framework or whichever you're whatever you're using right but you are expected to have a very deep understanding of the ecosystem that you find yourself in now when it comes to backend on the other hand that is a little bit more tricky because the the general consensus i mean that there is of course some ambiguity in the front end community as well but when i say all things related to javascript i will put the border at Node.js as an example. There are many people who will argue that a front-end developer should not necessarily need to know Node.js and I argue that that is wrong. And the reason why I argue that is because by very definition if you are a front-end developer well most companies don't really know what that is. Uh, the definition is that you should work with the front-end, right? Yeah, but that's all JavaScript, right? And all your tools are in many cases dependent on the fact that you use Node in some fashion and so a lot of companies will just skip the whole well you just do UI work to actually also include that you have some Node uh, understanding of Node and so forth. So by practicality you need to know that. On the other hand if we're talking about backend this becomes much harder because it's hard for you to define where does the backend end. Well we can say something simple like, well, the backend is anything that isn't like CSS, HTML, JavaScript, etc., etc., the thing that you're showing to the user. That would be easy, right? But that also would mean that to potentially you would have to know everything about cloud solutions. Is that part of your job? What about learning about security aspects, things like that, performance and benchmarking and all that stuff, like where do you draw the line for a backend developer? So I'm just going to give you the best definition that I can give you, which is going to be the old, well I don't know if that's an old necessarily, but it's the popular definition that it used to be the thing that we called ourselves in my day, which was application developer. Now what is an application developer? Well an application developer is someone who is literally only writing the code that is going to be part of the business logic. In other words, you're not a DevOps engineer, you're not a cloud engineer, you're not some type of security specialist or anything like that. You really only focus on that. After four years of experience, you will be expected as an application developer to practically know everything related to the stack that you have picked. It's very similar to the front end, I would say. In a sense, uh, it's actually less quote unquote things in terms of tooling at the very least that you need to know as a back end developer after four years than as a front end developer. But there is a diff like, uh, that doesn't mean that one is easier than the other because there is a, there's a side note that you need to know. The backend developers, they usually have to know a lot more about computer science, a lot more theory than the front end developers ever have to, uh, on average at the very least. It depends on how hard the company is going to test their front end developers because I've been in the interviews and I know for a fact that you interview people, and there's quite a few companies that actually ask computer science questions of a front end developer. So it's kind of it's hard to say this or that about it. But in general terms, the backend developer is going to have to know a lot more about object oriented practices like polymorphous and big O notations and algorithms and like all of this stuff because that is the bulk of what you do. And then, of course, knowing how to deal with databases, everything from relational databases to uh, to document databases is the more, probably the most common thing. But let's just say no, no SQL for the sake of completeness. Uh, after four years, you're in essence expected to be a self-reliant software developer. You should not, you don't have to know everything under the sun. I've worked with developers who have this level of experience who say for the is who, for example, don't really know all the things about. Q 
Kubernetes. But, but as I was saying, that's technically not, depending on how you define it, something that a backend developer has to know. It's much more in the realms of operations and DevOps and so forth. Uh, and the same thing goes for, say, Docker. Like, Docker is a very useful tool, but it's not strictly necessary for you to be good at Docker to be an application developer. All you really need to know, uh, although I would say that that's getting more and more naive to say that, is to how to start the application. So let's say that you are a Java developer. Well, then you should only have to know how to start a Spring Boot or a Spring application, or like it doesn't have to be, that can be just Java Enterprise Edition, like a web server, like Tomcat or JBoss or whatever you're using. Uh, you should be able to start that thing and run some code and take some network calls and then connect to some database or something similar. And the story is pretty much the same for like all the other languages. If you're a Rails developer or if you're a, a C Sharp or like a .NET developer or anything like that, uh, that is what you're expected to know. Now, the thing to know on the other hand here is that the same type of ambiguity of what your responsibility is, is true here as it is in front end. You remember what I was saying? Because the term for, like, because at the end of the day, guys, I've said this a hundred times before, the companies, they don't give shit about what you think a term means. If they say front-end developer and they include Node.js knowledge, they don't care if that's technically correct. They're looking for someone who knows these things and they are going to use the term front-end developer if they think that from their perspective that that is the thing that matches what they're looking for the most even though we might technically call that a full stack developer so you really have to look at the job postings and the same thing goes for the back-end developers because just because i said here like a, an application developer or technically the standard back-end developer well all the things i said they are technically true but you might find yourself applying for a job where, well, they just say backend developer, but it's not really just the application development that you're going to have to do. You're also going to have to have knowledge in Amazon or like EC2 instances and stuff like that and spinning up VMs and like all of this extra fluff. And that, that kind of, I mean, if you're going to do that stuff, then you're going to have to know the Linux operating system, SSH, and you're going to have to learn how to um, work with VPC or like uh, different VPNs, uh, VPC uh, solutions and so forth. Like there's so much, there's so many threads on what you could potentially know. And this is, I would argue, the reason why we can never really truly define what the role is all about. And that's why no developer will ever be able to match in a consistent way. All the things that a company could possibly want when they say backend developer. That's why we just have to kind of use that term and then together figure out what it actually means. And in my experience, what usually happens is that they will say, well, we expect you to know the core of what we mean. So say if I'm looking for a backend uh, developer for a Ruby, well, then you should know everything about Rails because that is the core of what a person who does Rails development should know. And then they, they will add whatever reflects their business model. In other words, if you go to company A and they're using Amazon, well, then you are back in that from for their perspective, you should know Rails plus all the things that are related to Amazon. If you go to another company that's going to be Azure, or it's going to be GCP or whatever, uh, or and in one company they're using Docker, in another one they're not using Docker or they're using something else. Like, there are so many different things that you could possibly that you could like it's enormous of the amount of stuff that you could potentially fit into what should a senior know that it's practically impossible for me to give you something more concrete than saying that you are expected to know everything at the very least around the stack that you are working with so what i want you to take away from this is that after four years of work experience it doesn't really matter if you're a front-end developer or a back-end developer uh, you are expected to be a more or less self-reliant software developer, uh, someone who can be allocated a task of almost, almost at the very least, any complexity level, uh, that may vary a little bit, and be fairly certain that you're going to be able to solve that problem. And it usually revolves around these, as I like to call, core skills that we all sort of agree on is included in the role of whatever role or whatever label we're using. So a front-end developer that's going to be like the standard stuff like CSS, HTML, JavaScript, etc, etc. For a back-end developer it's usually 
a web framework such such as say the .NET framework or Rails or something like that and the programming language and some type of database or something like that. Uh, that is usually the core and then of course all the theory about polymorphism and object oriented principles and domain driven design all of this good stuff like that the theory part as the back end developer is usually fairly heavy in comparison to a front end developer but i also want you to understand that the the definition for each company may not end there it might actually include even more stuff and it really comes down to you to read the damn specification every time you have to do it every single time you go to a job interview you need to look at the concrete skills that they are looking for and not just the title have a great day